Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're looking at another question relating to row level security. And we're looking at this question as it relates to two tables that allow bi-directional filtering. So when we talk about filtering, we have two different kinds. We have single filter direction and bi-directional filtering. And so that just means that the dimension table can filter the fact table and the fact table can filter the dimension table. But as it applies to row level security, we have to make sure that we allow that row level security to be implemented in both directions. So let's go ahead and jump right into the question. It says in Power BI Desktop, you are building a sales report that contains two tables. Both tables have row level security configured. You need to create a relationship between the tables and the solution must ensure that bi-directional cross filtering honors row level security. What should you do? So as always, let's point out some of the important pieces of information here. First and foremost, it says that the solution must ensure that bi-directional cross filtering honors the row level security. So that's the key here is that the bi-directional cross filtering, this is telling us that this relationship has to be designed so that it goes both ways. And so when we talk about filtering tables, we have either a single filter direction or a bi-directional filter. And so this is telling us that this relationship needs to be able to access and filter that data in both directions. And so first and foremost, it has to go both ways. Second, in order for row level security to be implemented, we have to have active relationships between the tables. So if we're going to be using bi-directional cross filtering, then we need to have an active relationship. Inactive relationship is not going to allow that row level security to be implemented because it's not active. So let's go ahead and look at our answer choices here. And let's just look at the first part to eliminate some of the wrong answers. The first one says create an inactive relationship. Well, once again, in order for any of this to be implemented, in order for row level security to be implemented, in both directions, we have to have an active relationship. So we can go ahead and eliminate option A because this says an, an inactive relationship. B says create an active relationship. C says create an inactive relationship. So we're gonna go ahead and eliminate that one as well. So option B and option D both say create an active relationship. So that's the first part. We have to create an active relationship between the tables for this to work. So starting off good. Now it says apply security filter in both directions for option B or assume referential integrity. So I want to talk about this part right here. When you see these words assume referential integrity in this test, the first thing that you need to think of is this is for direct query. So anytime you see assume referential integrity, that is a specific feature for direct query. And so it doesn't necessarily apply here because we're talking about row level security. And so option B talks about applying the security filter in both directions and that's exactly what we want to do so the correct answer here is option b create an active relationship between the tables and select apply security filter in both directions i want to thank you so much for joining me if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content i'll see you in the next one